for those who are new to virtualization or VMware platform. Uh, I'm going to show a simple video how to download the VMware player from VMware and create a VM on that and run a VM on that. So here I'm going to download a VMware player from VMware. Here you go to the VMware site. Okay, uh, I have gone to. Okay, here if you just go to vmware.com and go to the download. Okay, and if you go here, if you see this is a VMware player, and you just download that. So. I have already downloaded this so I'm going to cancel this okay here then here I've downloaded that okay just go to download and see I have uh, downloaded the view my player uh, just double click on that if you see this is a go and uh, follow the instructions like I have already installed so it is showing repair and remove but if you start a new installation you just follow this next 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 and obviously it's very straightforward and you can download you can install it okay now I'm going to uh, run VMware player which I have already installed I have already created some number of VMs but I'm going to create a new VM and show you how to install a Linux on that okay and so go to file new virtual machine here you directly uh, can have the dvd drive or a simple iso image so which uh, you can do that okay i'm going to create a centos okay so for creating a centos okay what you can do is you just go to you can just download the CentOS ISO CentOS download page okay and you see here you can find number of ISO images which one you need so I have already downloaded the x86 okay it's x64 version and you can download any of this okay any from any of those mirrors Okay, I have already downloaded the 64-bit version from the CentOS download site, and I have uh, just placed here in this folder. That's what I'm going to access from the VMware player. Okay, so now I'm going to create a, a VM, new VM, install and select the install or disk image file ISO browse and select the CentOS okay and just open it here it is and you see CentOS 64 bit is detected by the VMware player you follow the next give a full name if you want I give my name I'm because I'm going to use it for Hadoop so let me create a Hadoop user Okay, and I give the same e password. Click uh, next. Uh, let me have like I give the name of the VM as Hadoof Cluster Node. I give it Hadoop Cluster Node. Okay. I'm going to create a Hadoop single cluster out of this uh, CentOS. So I click next. You can give what is the size of the VM you want. Let me give 40 GB and I uh, let's create that in a single file, not split images. Okay. If you choose this one, this will split the virtual disk into number of files. That will be easy for taking it outside of this laptop into a using a 
pen drive or something like that so which I'm not going to do so I click okay store a virtual disk in a single file now here it is just verify the details what you have selected and I don't do is power on right now so click finish okay now here if you see this is how to cluster node it's created and you can again see what you have given as the virtual memory virtual processor how many processors how many disk size and this and that and I am going to change it okay to 2 GB okay and maybe that's all for now now let's run this virtual machine okay here it start the CentOS installation starts here and you can see okay This is going to take some time. So, so you see the installation process starts, and you see the package has started installing. Okay. Well, it's going to end soon in this installation. It's going on. Here it is completed and it's rebooting now. We just see the set voice is rebooting. I can make it full screen by just clicking on this. Okay.
you can see here it is uh, installing the Vima tools automatically and these tools are uh, sent OS specific from VMware <coughs> these tools are nothing but to improve uh, the display and the input out be devices and the usb devices just to improve the response to all this and it will uh, it will have its own drivers for the vm which uh, it can use in a virtualization environment to take some time okay here you go our CentOS desktop is in front and just click and give the password that I have given HD user okay and just click login And here it is up, up and running. Our all the applications system. You can see this is okay. And all my tools I can run and you can see. So here I am just going to end this video how to install CentOS on VMware player. So this is the basic video which you need to follow just to create a CentOS. What I'm in my next video is what I'm going to do is I'm going to install Hadoop on the CentOS and create a, <coughs> a single host cluster. Hadoop cluster and uh, let you know how to do it till then thank you for watching and okay one thing I just wanted to uh, tell you that just check the mouse up the screen and it will come out and just click here and you can come back to normal mode and when you are inside okay you just can move up move around freely using the mouse okay just I'm going to end this video now here okay